Hi and welcome to the Adam Sharp Chalam. I'm your host, Mohammed Azam, and today we will be talking about the Cloud Kit framework, which was introduced in iOS 8. Um, Cloud Kit, of course, allows you to create your documents, create your key value pair entities in the cloud, store them in the cloud, and then the users can access the public or the private database using their uh, uh, iCloud credentials. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. We will be making a very simple application. We will store something in the database already, like in the cloud, and we will try to fetch that from the cloud, okay? But first, you need to enable the cloud. So let's go ahead and select your application, the project, and the target, which is Hello Cloud Kid, and go to the Capabilities folder, or Capabilities tab, sorry. And over here, the first option you will see is the iCloud. So go ahead and turn it on, okay? We're going to use, uh, of course, you have to be part of the Apple's developer program in order to use CloudKit. If you are not part of the program, then you will not be able to use it. Okay, so I'm going to say I'm going to use CloudKit. And once it appears, I'm going to show the options again. So we're going to use uh, the services that we are going to use as a key value storage. And we're going to use a CloudKit service. And in the containers, uh, basically, what we are going to say is specify uh, custom containers, and we are going to use the Hello CloudKit container, which is associated with the app that we are building, which is called Hello CloudKit. And that's really all you need to do. Now, go ahead and click on the CloudKit dashboard. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this thing loaded. Now, this is of course, generating, trying to generate the CloudKit dashboard for that particular container. Now, the dashboard will allow us to, uh, you know, view the entries or to, to see all the records that are saved on, on the cloud. So you can access it, you can view it, and it takes a while to generate. Now, one of the record types, and record types, you can uh, actually associate them with the tables, or one of the record types is users, and you can go ahead and create your record type if you want. We are going to go ahead and create a record type. We're just going to say customers. So let's just think of it that customers is a container, okay, which can have uh, basically uh, records in it. So you can have first name for the customers, and I can go ahead and add last name. And that is pretty much it. Save button is hidden over here. We're going, I'm just going to press the save button. So now we have a different record type, which is called customers. Uh, security role, subscription type, user records, default zone. So default zone is already set up as customers, but we don't really have any data. So let's go ahead and add the data. So first name, let's just say Muhammad, last name Azam, save that. Uh, let's go ahead and add that, uh, add one more. So I'm just going to say John Doe. And there you go. So that is it. That's pretty much all you need to do, all right? And oops, let's go over to the record types. Eventually, it will say two records. I'm not sure why. It, it takes a while to update uh, to reflect over there. Here we go, two records. All right. So we have already set up our, is this called CloudKit demo or did I just mess it up? Okay, so I messed, messed it up. Hello, CloudKit. We have to go over there because our application is called Hello Cloud Kit. All right, so remember, so this is one of the mistakes. So I have different containers and I selected the wrong one. All right, so let's go ahead and I will come uh, build this again. First name, add an attribute last name, go ahead and save it. Uh, the reason I'm doing this again is that because I selected a different container, I think I selected automatically the Cloud Kit demo instead of Hello Cloud Kid. Go ahead and check it out over here in your code, in your Xcode, uh, it is selected as Hello Cloud Kid, okay? So just to make sure that we are on the right track. Um, we're gonna go over to the default zone now and go ahead and add this one. So I'm just, just gonna enter some name, save it. It's good for you guys because now you need to see what can go wrong, all right? So once again, make sure that you have the right container set up as Hello Cloud Kit, because that's the container we are using in our application. 
Once again, it's going to take a while to refresh. Here we go. CloudKit now, it has two records that we just entered. So this part is pretty much done now, all right? So now we're going to jump to our code. So let's go ahead and load the data. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to fetch the data from the CloudKit, import CloudKit, and over here we have to say CK container, container, CK, what other we have? CK database, then we have public DB. Public DB is that uh, anyone can access that, but the private DB is only per user basis, okay? So you cannot access, or one user cannot access the other user's private database. It can have some private information, social security number, it can have some credit card information uh, and all that stuff, all right? I'm gonna go to over here and then create a method called setup. All right, and now inside the setup, what we're gonna do is we are going to initialize this. So I'm gonna say container equal to CK container, default container, whatever the default container is set up. And if you remember, the default container is set up to Hello Cloud Kit. I'm gonna say public DB, and we're gonna say container dot uh, public cloud database. We are not going to use private over here, but let's go ahead and initialize that as well. All right. And now we can go ahead and query the database. So CK query, I'm going to initialize CK query and then in it with record type. Now, if you remember, we have set up the record type as customers. Predicate, now in this case, we want to return all the information, basically all the records that we have. So we're just going to use NS predicate and predicate with value, yes. All right. And then uh, basically we are going to use the public DB perform query. Uh, I'm pass in query zone is nothing. Basically in this case it's nil. And once you get the records, it's going to give you either the error or it's going to give you the results. So let's go ahead and see if there is any error. Then we can print it out. You can say error dot localized description. If there are no errors, then we can go ahead and iterate through the records. Record in results. And What's going on over here? All right, so it's unused, of course. And we can simply print out the name, which is, in this case, record object for key, and the object will be first name. And you can copy the same exact thing and replace that with the last name. All right, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and run this application and see what it displays. Not sure why it actually printed over here. Um, let's go ahead and see if there is any error or if we even reach this point. So there's an error. Receive that did complete with handler without receiving a response from the server. So it, does, it did not re receive the response from the server. Okay, and if you see the results collection over here, it shows that there are zero objects. So there are no objects over there. So what is the problem that is going on? So the problem is we are not signed in into our iCloud account. And you can do that. Just go over here in settings. You can go to set iCloud and you can sign in. All right. So let me go ahead and sign into my iCloud account. Uh, I'm going to take this away because I'm going to enter my real iCloud account. And I'm going to sign in. Uh, it's going to take a while to sign in, I think. Let's see. 
So it's trying to sign in to the iCloud account using the Xcode simulator, iPhone 6, but you can use, of course, any simulator or any iPhone simulator you want. Just make sure that you are actually signed in. So here we go. So we are signed in now. All right, so let's go ahead and run this again. Not sure why it takes a while um, for communication with the iCloud. Maybe it's authenticating and all that. Uh, the error is nil, and in this case, results, we have two items. So if you go over there and print it, you can see that the first name is John Doe, and then, of course, Muhammad Adam, you can see. So whatever we entered over there, we can get it back over here. Cool, right? So that is pretty much it. A um, couple of things we learned. First of all, we learned that, um, let me just show you over here. First of all, the things that we learned is that make sure that the container over here is uh, set up as the the project that you are working on, all right? And uh, which is over here that you specify over here. You specify the container. So make sure that that's the correct container. And the second thing, of course, is that you are actually signed in to your uh, iCloud account in the simulator or else you won't be able to get any response back even though you are accessing the public database all right and that's pretty much it i hope you like this video tutorial thank you very much and stay tuned for more